you definitely go and open up the waist belt so it's easier for somebody. I'm going to take the shoulder strap on one side and I'm going to make a guess by somebody's back length and tighten that shoulder strap down so when I put the pack on their back it's not going to hit the floor. This one I'm going to leave wide open so that I can get my arm into it or the customer is going to get their arm into it really easily. Um, <clears throat> top lift straps are going to be loose. Sternum strap I start at the top. If you start with it low you adjust it up and miss, you can hit somebody. Um, so I start with it on the top and then you're just pulling it down so it's easier. The other one that we're going to talk about a little bit is where the lift strap exit point should be for the buckle. I've got one high, one low, one's going to be right, one's going to be wrong. So I'm going to pick the pack up for the customer. We can um, have them put them on like a coat. So right now what's going on is the one strap is tighter so hopefully what's happened is that where hip crest is, so what you normally do is take your thumb, find the top of your hip bone, so soft tissue down to bone, and then take your index finger and right below that is going to be an outward protrusion, um, like the ledge on L calf, and that's your iliac crest. Ideally, the middle of the waist belt is right at that point. So if I've done my job in guessing correctly, yeah. This strap is going to be there. I now then go and tighten this strap. And from there, I'm going to let the customer go and, and do the waist belt. Um, <clears throat> generally, what you want to do is tighten a strap in the direction that the webbing enters the buckle. I see some folks pull out, and they're pulling really hard, and that buckle is not going to tighten very easily. So crossing yourself or um, again just pulling in the direction of where um, the buckle goes. So our waist belt here is number one, shoulder straps are going to be number two. We're now going to kind of look for what's going on. So back to where we were, <coughs> um, if we had that buckle all the way down here we would have a fit <coughs> um, <coughs> that would end up being our um, you know very high fit that was going to be really loose. If this buckle was out here on the top of the shoulder or, or you know near the armpit, that would be the carry that would be going on that we would be having an issue um, with getting weight onto the frame. So waist belt number one, shoulder straps number two. Sternum strap is fine. This gives me, um, you're doing it exactly. So even right there, she's able to adjust it down super easily where if that buckle had started down here, it's harder you can slip, um, so that's really easy. Adjustment of the sternum strap usually is at the apex of the curve of the shoulder strap or where it's comfortable for the customer. It's really a personal preference side. So I'm going to want to look here and be looking <coughs> um, at our exit point here versus where we were and we're within the range where I would say we're maybe a scope.